Photon Hypernova releases in just a few short weeks for the TCG format. This exciting set has legacy support for Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, powerful new tools for the Kashtira archetype, and some generically strong cards that pretty much any deck can use. In today's Konami-sponsored video, they've allowed me to reveal the brand new world premiere archetype releasing in Photon Hypernova, Gold Pride. A key element of this theme is that the monster cards power up if you have lower life points than your opponent. When this condition is met, your main deck monsters can special summon themselves from your hand for free, while your extra deck monsters get bonus destructive effects. This is a really cool mechanic that not only can be triggered by you yourself paying life points, but also perhaps by your opponent dealing damage on their turn one while they're comboing off. Let's take a look at some of these cards, starting off with a card you might have seen in the past, Gold Pride Leon. Konami revealed this card a few weeks ago, but I think it'll make a lot more sense in the context of the overall archetype. Gold Pride Leon is a level 3 Wind Warrior Tuner monster with 1500 attack and 1200 defense. It says if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one non-warrior Gold Pride monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position, also you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Gold Pride monsters. During your opponent's main phase, you can, quick effect, immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one synchro monster using only Gold Pride monsters you control. Leon is very crucial for this archetype, it is your only tuner monster at the moment, and interacts with the synchro monster in a very specific way. Next up, we have Gold Pride Captain Carry, a level 3 water fiend effect monster with 900 attack and 1700 defense. This card says if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Gold Pride trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Gold Pride monster you control that was special summoned from the extra deck, banish up to three Gold Pride cards from your graveyard, and if you do, that monster gains 500 attack for each card banished this way. Captain Carry is a great special summon from Leon's effect because it'll trigger the effect to grab a trap card from your deck, and also that graveyard effect is better than you'll probably give it credit for because this deck has ways to OTK out of nowhere and that 1500 attack can really make a big difference. Next up we have Gold Pride Star Leon, a level 6 light thunder synchro monster with 2000 attack and defense. This card takes one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters to summon, so while you can bring it out using Leon and Captain Carry, it is generically summonable as well, and it says during the main phase quick effect, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls. This card gains attack equal to that target's original attack, then if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can destroy that monster. You can only use the previous effect of Gold Pride Star Leon once per turn. Once per turn, during the end phase, if the previous effect was activated this turn, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, special summon one Gold Pride Leon from your deck or graveyard. Star Leon is really cool and pretty versatile. When you're summoning it on your turn, you're probably just trying to do a ton of damage by giving it a bunch of attack points using its own effect or Captain Carries, but on the opponent's turn, it's more of an interruption effect that then floats into a combo resetter by summoning the Leon during the end phase. Next up, we have Gold Pride Nitro Head, a level 8 fire pyro effect monster with 2300 attack and 2600 defense. This card says if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can special summon this card from your hand. During your opponent's standby phase, you can special summon one nitro token, pyro fire level 8, attack 0, defense 0, to your opponent's field, but it cannot be used as link material. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can target one nitro token on the field, destroy that token, also destroy all cards in its adjacent monster zones and spell and trap zones. Nitro Head is a pretty unique card that gives the opponent this terrible token that they don't really want to deal with. Tokens already can't be used as Xyz material, this token can't be used as Link material, and it's level 8, which is pretty awkward for Synchro material. And this token is really useful because in Photon Hypernova, we get more Kashtira support, and many of the Kashtira cards can special summon themselves if you control no monsters. So if you give your opponent a token during their standby phase, they won't be able to special summon some of their best monster cards. But regardless of if your opponent cares about the token or not, you always have that great second effect which allows you to pop the token and the cards adjacent to it. Nitro Head's extra deck monster is Gold Pride Nitro Blaster, a Pyro Link 2 monster with 2300 attack. And this card says you can target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, then if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can destroy all cards in its adjacent monster zones and spell and trap zones. You can only use this effect of Gold Pride Nitro Blaster once per turn. Once per turn during the end phase, if this effect was activated this turn, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, special summon one Gold Pride Nitro Head from your deck or graveyard. Nitro Blaster is hugely important for the Gold Pride deck because this is the best way to break the opponent's board. As long as you are at lower life points than them, you can potentially blow up up to 
five cards with one ability, which is pretty crazy to think about. Then, during the end phase, if you use that effect, you can tag out into Nitro Head, which can lock your opponent down during the standby phase. This card's also great because if you have mismatching levels with your Gold Pride monsters and you can't really make any synchros, you can at least go into this. We also have the main starter card for the archetype, Gold Pride, the crowd goes wild. This is a normal spell card that says, reveal one Gold Pride monster in your hand, add one Gold Pride monster with a different name from your deck to your hand, then you can apply the following effect. Special summon one Gold Pride monster from your hand, but you lose life points equal to its original attack. You might have noticed already that the Gold Pride monster cards don't have effects that can lower your own life points. Luckily, there are other ways to do that, like this card. Gold Pride the Crowd Goes Wild is an absolutely insane piece of support for this archetype. It adds a monster to your hand, it special summons a monster, and it lowers your life points. Three things you really want to do on turn one. Finally, we have Gold Pride Start Your Engines, a normal trap card that Captain Carry can add to your hand for free. This card says if your opponent normal or special summons a monster or monsters, target one of those monsters, reveal three Gold Pride monsters from your deck, your opponent randomly picks one for you to special summon, shuffle the rest into your deck, then destroy the targeted monster. Notably, this is not restricted to once per turn, so if you do happen to open multiple copies, you are allowed to use multiples. That being said, this card is good. You know, it pops a summoned monster, which is already pretty strong, and then it brings out a Gold Pride monster right from your deck. Now, of course, the monster is randomly picked, but you don't have to pick differently named Gold Pride monsters for this card's effect, which means if you happen to have three of a card you want to bring out in your deck still, you can just reveal all three of the same card and then your opponent is kind of forced to pick the one that you wanted to. The Gold Pride archetype is off to a great start, and if you want to play this deck right now, I think the best archetype to combine it with is probably Punk. The Punk cards pay life points, they synchro summon, they special summon, they're a really good archetype to combine with Gold Pride in my opinion because they give you the most opportunities to start with lower life points than your opponent on the first turn. Anyway, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you to Konami for letting me reveal the Gold Pride cards in the upcoming Photon Hypernova set. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'll open up an early box of Photon Hypernova for you guys. I'll see you later though. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.